Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and I went to Japan for two weeks. <laughs> so I last visited Japan in 2019 but then the pandemic happened so I wasn't able to travel anywhere then after. Um, I traveled with my family again this time around. We were there for two weeks. We stayed in like different um, locations this time. So initially Kansai region, we spent an overnight in Shirakawa Go, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's our first, like we experienced our first snowfall there. Um, it was really, really cool and an amazing experience. I ate ice cream while I was experiencing snow. I think it's a tropical girl in me, <laughs> but it wasn't like it, it, it was, it was a really just nice and fascinating experience. And um then we transferred to tokyo stayed mostly in the kansa uh, kanto region and explored like different areas and stuff like that spent most of my money on food and entrance fees to different experiences <laughs> um but i was still able to secure like a couple of things that was on my list that i really really wanted to like get while i was there and that's what i'm going to be showing to you in today's video it's a combination of like cosmetic stuff um, fangirly stuff, all those things. So, yeah, <laughs> I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's start with the things that I'm currently wearing first. So, I got some ear cuffs from a random store that I completely forgot. <laughs> but um, this is what they look like. And um, I like that because I'm acidic, and usually accessories that like have I, I just can't wear anything that's not either real gold or silver or stainless like this necklace that I always wear it's stainless because of my skin like it just corrodes stuff but I'm actually really, really glad that this did um I've been wearing this I think since we were in Kansai and then transferred to the different places and so I have it on it looks real real nice and then for my new ring so this one it's not showing that well but it's it's a nice ring that has um flowers or like real flowers in it and it's made of like resin um and I also got like a bracelet from there with also like same flowers I got this from a bazaar happening in Shinjuku station. I think they're kind of like independent brands doing like small bazaars, just how it is with like, you know, similar here in the Philippines where brands would participate in like small bazaars to have like their cross display there for a limited time. And I got this from a brand called Petit Fleur. I'll show their Instagram somewhere here, but their pieces are real, really nice and I absolutely love them. And I got, yeah, so I got the bracelet and the, the ring. I think this is around, I think this is, these are like the same price around 1,650 yen. Yeah, so this is quite cheap because I think I got this from a 300 yen store. On to some of like my beauty stuff. So first I got the Megrhythm um, eye mask. This is the heated one. My mom got the cooling version because she she prefers like a cooler version as compared to this one. I like the heated version. It relaxes my eyes whenever I'm feeling like really, really tired or exhausted or I just want to like, I don't know, just refresh myself. I restocked on these because I ran out already from our long time ago trip. So there, that's one. Um, next is I restocked on my eye drops as well. Absolutely love these eye drops. If not these, I get the roto one um that has a cooling one like the blue one for that as well this is the one in the bottle wait let me open one to show you so this is how it looks like um they have versions of these where it's either like it, it's it's just kind of like water i like the one with the cooling effect so this is it next up is the milano cc brightening lotion in rich I bought this bottle and I also bought refills. Um, that's one thing that I love about Japan is they always have like refill versions of, you know, almost everything um, at a lower price, which I hope also happens here because 
I use a Japanese lotion, uh, Japanese shampoo here in the Philippines, but they don't sell the refill versions here, which is really, really disappointing because the bottles are of good quality and you can reuse it over again. So yeah, just putting it out there, not related to Milano CC at all, but I absolutely love this. Um, it has a nice thick, like again, face lotion type consistency. So as you can see, something like that. And then just, yeah. So I use it as kind of like my serum for my skin. My skin is just really, really dry and it got even drier when we went to Japan. It was really, really cold there. Um, but I absolutely love that. Uh, just a few days of just using it and my skin is already kind of like less flaky. I also got this, which is um, Aqua Label. According to the girly who's who was by the shelves um, while I was getting these, this is apparently like a Shiseido brand as well. Um, but I got into variants. They uh, they also have like a gold variant, which is the one for anti aging. I to go for the moist one, which is for really really dry sensitive skin and the blue one for brightening because again i do have like a lot of discoloration and um dark like um marks from you know just from blemishes and stuff like that so i decided to go with like the brightening they have some free towelettes <laughs> here as well so that's really cool but yeah i got these two versions uh so far this is really really good like to have refills for this so that's super amazing because next up is a face mist so this one is the Kose make keep mist ex so it's supposed to make your makeup um a little bit more transfer transfer proof um it's also to like refresh your your um, makeup and just you know give you that like renew your look you know in the middle of the day whatever so that i absolutely love face mist but another reason why i got this is because i saw this in tobeban and jin Ningoji Yuta, um show this off on screen and yeah, i just i just had to like give it a try um but yeah i think it, I am really excited to try this. I think with Japan mostly for their face mist is a combination of of like a water watery solution and some oil. So it's not just a watery solution just how we, like compared to other face mists that are um western. So that's why I think I like Japanese face mists a lot more and I'm really excited to try this one. Speaking of face mists that I'm currently loving, I also gave this a try while I was there. This is the Shiseido Elixir Luminous Glow Mist. And again, it's very similar to that one. You can see like it's a watery oil consistency. I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah. And I love this because it it has a faint florally smell but it's not too overwhelming i love this the mister of this really really nice and fine i forgot to buy another one of these um during my second batch of like buying for stuff because you know i just grabbed this out of curiosity and they instantly love it but then yeah i forgot to buy another version so i have to get one when i return but this is really good um it gives the skin a nice glowy finish like a like a really nice healthy look that's just i'm just gonna do a nice spritz right now ha <sighs> okay so yeah so again when they say elixir luminous glow mist it really does give your skin a nice luminous glow and i absolutely love products that say what they um put on their packages so these um lip balms so this come in like a five pack of different sanrio lip balms i decided you know what it'll be like a good like thing to like give to some friends and stuff i got myself the karomi one because i like karomi i like hello kitty too but another one of my friends love hello kitty so i'm gonna give it to her instead i gave my mom the my melody one because she loves my melody um and it comes in different scents or, or or flavors as well like for example for the my melody one this is peach this one is grape and i think there's a melon one for pom pom purin as well so i think it's just really really nice and cute and again it comes in a 
pack of five so and it has like a cutout on the sides as well so you can easily like, cut it um and the description comes in like an its own individual package so it's nice to like give out to friends and stuff so yeah i got this on, don in, on donkey and i think you can get it there from from there as well but it's just a nice transparent like lip balm thing i wear a lot of lipstick i need lip balm and this is a cute option so yeah speaking of lip products i got a couple of lip products from there i got these two from the i got these two small lipsticks from the brand iromike i just decided to like grab this because i thought you know it's 500 yen 550 yen and it looked cute and it, it might look cute like when you have like a small purse and you need a lipstick but it's it's not opaque at all like it just it's 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 very sheer which i think how most how japanese girls really wear their lipstick i see a lot of them not really wearing something too bold um so this is what the other shade looks like this one and then this one is the other shade and it's just nice kind of like a a lip balm type of thing quite small so i decided to just give this to my mom but look at it so cute but yeah, it's nothing. It's it's not long wearing. It's not anything like that. It's just really nice and nourishing and moisturizing on the lips, and I, 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 it's nice. So yeah, I also got some lip tints, which again I just grabbed just for the heck of it because again I love lip products and I just don't want to grab anything that, like for example, I don't know, um, something I'm already familiar with or something that I get here in the Philippines. So I just grabbed like random ones that I haven't heard. Of, of before so again another one from iromike they say that this is a lip plumper and this is what the applicator looks like which is kind of like what my other like lip serums or like i don't know it's not exactly a brush it's like a plastic tip um but personally i don't think it 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 has like kind of like that like um plumping effect per se but it is glossy so maybe that's what they mean by it but i actually don't mind i don't use lip, lip plumpers anyway i'm not the biggest fan of them um and so i just like how it is as kind of like a gloss same with this one this one again it's not too it's not too like opaque so this is what that shade looks like this one yes i understand that i do get the same shades for most of my lipsticks i love something that's red toned that's yeah so i really don't this is what this looks like so yeah but it applies a bit more sheer on the lips and then i also got this one from a brand called etwa rose in the shade scarlet applicator is nice and flat and again, all of them are just nice, kind of like sheer tints of these, these is how they look like. And they're not really like long wearing or whatever, but I'm not really the biggest fan of like, because uh, my, my lips tend to also dry too much. So I just want something that looks really nice and like fresh or whatever. So yeah, so there, then of course, this one I've talked about in, I think, my 2019 haul video. I absolutely love this. I like that Imada Mio is now the face of the um, Softimo Speedy Cleansing Oil. Before this boomed on TikTok over the pandemic, I was already in love with this one. I really, really like it. Um, it doesn't have like a scent. It helps remove my mascara, which I love using heavy duty mascara and it does the job in terms of dealing with that. Don't have any issues with it. I am not a biggest fan of the Biore cleansing oil because of the scent and it stings my eyes. And this is like the perfect one for me. I got a new bottle as well as some refills because we love refills. Um, but if you're in the Philippines like me, so this one isn't readily available unless you buy it from people who kind of like import stuff here. It's not readily available in like department stores and stuff like that. So I found a nice alternative to it, which is the Crassier Naive 
cleansing oil they kind of like have a similar vibe like this one doesn't sting my eyes as well doesn't have any like weird flavor or scents to it so yeah but again like if you're in japan i do think that this is still um like cheaper because this is 6.95 here in the philippines but again in terms of accessibility there's this option if you like this one so yeah just putting it out there um yeah next one is okay this one i also found in donkey this is a perfume called aqua savon um and this is in the scent watery shampoo i gave this one whiff by accident because i absolutely love perfumes um i gave this a whiff and fell in love with it when they say watery shampoo it really smells like shampoo like it smells like you're fresh out of the shower um i know that like the clean scent like clean scents are so big right now especially with like the clean girl stuff happening all over tiktok um and this is like one of the it's not harsh it doesn't smell like detergent or anything like that not the type of clean scent this just smells like again you're fresh out of the shower your shampoo is really nice <sighs> and i can smell this all day super amazing and this is i think just 2500 yen for 80 ml um it's edt but i used this yesterday and it lasted a good amount on me it doesn't have a lot of projection on it but you can smell yourself which i think is the most important thing <laughs> um and you smell really really nice when you wear this and i think you're going to be obsessed with this so if you're in donkey or i'm not sure where else this can be bought but i think they have other scents that also smell like f something fresh so i suggest you go and it has like these nice i don't know balls inside which is really fun so yeah but i highly suggest you get this one next one that i got is this this is the muhi the muhi anti-itch um lotion this is usually this is mostly for insect bites but i got this because again allergy baby so whenever i'm itching it has a nice cooling effect and kind of relieves itch as well so yeah so i just like there's this nice applicator right here and i just spread it in the area that's itching and then yeah just make sure that you're spreading it not on areas with like broken skin and stuff like that but i absolutely love this i also discovered this because Sho was the one who, who used to be the face of muhi i've always wanted to try this but it is actually really nice and effective and so i absolutely love that next is the tear tear cushion so that's what i'm currently wearing on my face right now um, I got it in two sizes, so this one is the big one and then the small one. This fits my purse a lot better. This is in the shade 23 and Sand. I might do a separate video on this, just reviewing it. It's not a J Beauty product, it's actually a Korean product, but this actually ranked in the Cosme Best Cosmetics 2023 Awards. Um, this specific variant right here, um, all the J girlies are loving it. In some stores, I saw that... It was, like the big one is sold out and even the small one and they only have like the other variants which i think is equally as good it's just that this particular variant right here is where the girlies are at right now i gave it a try works really well on my skin which i really really love i do have like super dry skin and of course like you do have to have some proper like skin prep prior to applying this but when you do it applies beautifully um, they do have like a limited shade range though so if you have like it kind of like oxidizes a little bit so now it looks a bit okay on me but if you have a similar skin tone or you don't like foundations that oxidize or you have a much deeper skin tone I think they're going to be releasing additional shades for this so yeah but for now yeah they only have like three shades at least in all the different stores in Japan that I went to so yep is another product that Shaw endorsed before which is the febreze spray now the reason for no, no but aside from the fact that he endorsed this the reason why i got this is because number one i'm too lazy to iron my clothes most of the time and so this one aside from the odorizing your clothes it straightens it straightens it out as well like the wrinkles not too not like an iron right but it 
like if it's a t-shirt or something like that it really does straighten like the fabric out in a nice way like you wouldn't look like crumpled paper when you spray it on and it's it deodorizes really really nicely i bought refills of this as well um it also works on i don't know like a like furniture um your bed your sofa clothes even your shoes <laughs> so it is a good product it's also not that expensive although i forgot the price but again they do have refills of this so i'm already half a bottle used this when we were in japan because i'm too lazy to re-iron my coats while we were there so i just keep on spraying it and in some places in tokyo you get to smell a little bit like smoky because of like vehicles and stuff like that and so this really helped kind of like uh, ease up those those smoky smells um yeah so absolutely love this would probably repurchase more once i run out of my refills but yeah really nice product we move on to the actual fangirly stuff i'm gonna introduce you to a purchase that i bought because of said fangirly stuff i'm talking about the waisa lieb perfume um i've uh, this one a lot of people like this scent a lot and as someone who loves perfumes i got really curious i've always wanted to try this but it's not available here in the philippines but then um number i which is sho kishi and jin they participated in the lieb campaign just recently and that fueled my interest more in the perfume and so i got it this is their um like holiday packaging like a special packaging i got the the lieb just the the basic lieb one because for them like there's the lieb the lieb intense and the lieb edt i got the lead um eau de perfume um and i absolutely love this i love the smell of it it's just very nice fresh um and just an expensive smell uh, again i love perfumes but i'm really bad at, at explaining them but i got this because of them when i went to the counter um i asked for <laughs> irano show's scent and the lady immediately knew and she kind of like ex also pointed to the other two scents saying that the other one is kishi kun's scent and the uh, and then the other one is jingo ji kun's scent and so uh, that made my fangirl heart really happy girly yeah. stuff so i got these um story time just a little bit of like a story time so i went to mandarake with my family where we were in akihabara and my dad was looking for some um action figures as well so and he decided you know what i heard of this place called mandarake and i was like i'm familiar with mandarake i've bought there before um and so we went there and then i was looking for some stuff and obviously i went to the section where they most probably are selling um show or kimpuri stuff and i ended up getting these two clear files this one is from his honey movie so yeah and then this one is a clear file for like when they were in kohaku i'm not even sure if this is like an official one but it's back to back so it's nice i i was thinking if i should get this or not but then my dad was like you know what you should just get it there's still five there so just go ahead and get it and so i got it um because i'm a filial child <laughs> and then i also got some kurosagi goods which i wasn't able to get before because i told myself would i really need an acrylic sandy of show as kurosagi apparently i do now so i do own this now <laughs> as well as this one which i just grabbed but i didn't even know what this is about i think that this is just like a transparent like plate thing and a photo card but yeah i ended up getting these <laughs> so there we also went to toho cinemas because we wanted to see like the godzilla um head there in shinjuku and while we were there i was able to get like a couple of movie leaf leaflets so i got one from haikyuu absolutely love haikyuu of course i have to get spy family one absolutely love anya this one is for um 
Yamada Ryosuke and Hamabi Minami's um, movie, upcoming movie. I actually really want to see this one. So there. And then also got this one for reasons that um, it's very obvious because a lot of like the actors that I really love are there. So yeah, it's basically like all of them. But yeah, um, uh, again, it's just nice and fun. I was just like getting leaflets and stuff like that. And I do understand why people collect these is because they're really high quality paper. Not the least, I'm just going to show you some other trinkets that I got. So I got these like bento boxes because we were writing the Shinkansen a lot. We got the JR Pass and we wanted to make the most out of it. And so we went to like a lot of places we were in Shinkansen, I think, like two times or three times a day for seven days. <laughs> and in some of those travels, like they take around two, three hours. And so we had to have our lunch or some brunch inside the train. And I just have to get these because I love Sanrio. I got the Hello Kitty Shinkansen and also the Koromi one. I posted an Instagram video of me eating food here and like on the inside once the food is out I clean it out and I put some of the trinkets that I got there. I got these Anya ones from blind boxes so a sleepy Anya and a studying Anya which is a fake Anya because we all know that Anya hates studying but I also do love them. Anya is so cute. Um, I also got these um also got a bunch of gotchas this one another karomi one for this is a lip balm topper so you can put this in standard sized lip balms not really like the one like the lip balm that i showed earlier but like the standard ones that are a bit more like stick like and you can put this um there as a topper so that it will look nicer i got karomi and i also got Hello Kitty in a gotcha. I love gotchas because you can have like really nice looking souvenirs in a way uh, for not that high a price, I guess. I also got this from a gotcha. I think we were on our way to Mount Fuji and then I just saw this and I went to get it. It's a capybara in a sauna or an onsen. And I don't know, it's just having the best life. And I'm really, really happy that I was able to like get him. And then in this other like Shinkansen bento box, I have two more. So I also got like this. I forgot her name, but I think she's Doraemon's sister. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, the Raymond fake fan. I also think I wanted to get the Raymond though, but we only got Nobita in her second try, which is quite fair. Um, and yeah, and I think I got like a couple more stuff. Like uh, I, I posted about some keychains that I got from a hardworking Ojisan when we were in Osaka. So I got some like handmade keychains from him which i really really love like there's a pig version and a and a deer version they're already on my bag so um i'll just show you a picture right here and then i also when we were in shimo kitazawa i also got this sticker of a man here and then the the text is like wagamama body or him just being like selfishly feeling himself and i absolutely just fell in love with with like how it looks it's just so nice and carefree that i decided to like get two of that one of which is on my laptop and the other one is currently in just somewhere there hiding um but yeah <laughs> so that's basically my japan haul this is a long video but i hope that you enjoyed i just wanted to film this video to just kind of like relax ease myself up into the new year a lot of things are happening um, I just want to do like a nice relaxing video before I go back to my usual content of reviewing stuff and stuff like that. Um, and I do hope that you enjoy this video. Um, yeah, with that said, so thank you so much for watching. Tell me down in the comments below if what would you be getting when you visit Japan or anything like that. Let's talk it out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon in a new video. Bye!